What I have in front of me here is uh, 3D printed parts for an ornithopter. And if you're not familiar with an ornithopter is, it's a science fiction helicopter that kind of flies like a dragonfly. If you've seen the recent movie Dune, then you have seen what an ornithopter is. As a kid, I've always been fascinated with dragonflies, the way they move. They always reminded me of helicopters with their wings flapping. And when I saw ornithopters for the first time, I was like, tech, dragonflies merged together. Yes, please. This is not the Dune version of the Ornithopter. This comes from Loot Studios. Uh, last month's membership brought me an Ornithopter. I figured it was right up my creative alley, although I have no idea exactly which alley that is. But I 3D printed off all the parts for this Ornithopter, and I'm gonna uh, spend a bit of time uh, assembling the model, getting it all painted up and all ready to go. And then I'll see what it looks like and see what inspiration strikes and I'll throw it in front of my camera and just see what I can come up with. I mean, honestly, I'm half-assing this right now. So I, anything can go. I have no plans, no preconceived notions of what this is gonna be. I'm just gonna build and create and see what I come up with. So let's jump into it. Here it is, I have my ornithopter all assembled and I think it's good to go and ready to go on to the next steps. I left these wings um, removable just for ease of transportation and ease of storage. I also made two sets of these wings because odds are these are the things that are gonna break. So I may as well have a hot spare ready to go uh, when I'm gonna need them. So uh, I think that's gonna work out well. Uh, the other thing I've done is uh, for the both the wing, these were printed in two parts, and for the landing gear, I used a thing that I call resin welding, which is basically taking two resin 3D printed parts and putting a thin layer of uh, uncured resin between them, stick them together, and then using UV light to cure it all together, and that should make it one nice solid piece of resin, so it should be nice and strong. I did that for the wings and for the landing gear piece. Um, and then the three model uh, three body segments here I put together uh, with crazy glue and using another technique by putting uh, filling the cracks with baking soda and then covering with crazy glue and that creates a really strong bond so these things are not going to go anywhere and then I, I have this canopy ready to go that will just fit in the front it should be good to go there's also a little pilot figure that goes inside so it'll go in here put the canopy on um, I'm going to leave it off for now because I want to paint this guy and in here and it's just going to be easier to do that without the canopy and then I'll just pop the canopy on. One of the issues I was thinking with the canopy is that it actually comes in two models, one where it has glass and one where it doesn't and I was debating whether or not to use which one or try to keep them separate uh, or try to keep them swappable. Uh, but I figure I'll use the one without the glass. That way, if I want to see in the canopy, I can. But if I don't want to see in the canopy, I can always add a glass texture in in Photoshop. So um, post-production is your friend. I'm going to use it. Uh, so that is that. So the next step is to uh, use the spray paint and uh, or the uh, airbrush to uh, add a coat of primer. I'm going to lay down some protective uh, paper here and then start painting this up.
So this is done. I have a completed ornithopter. I, I finished putting on some of the weathering and gave it like a nice lived look. I actually took some sand and uh, put some sand on the runners just to give that a little bit more realism. I like to put real life weathering on the things that I create because that way it's real. Sand is real. May as well throw it on the, the thing here. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this, actually, to be honest with you. I suspect the next time I go to a dusty, sandy area, it's going to come with me because in my head, probably because of Dune, ornithopters live in the desert. Uh, so I'll probably be waiting until that happens. But in the meantime, I have this ready to go should inspiration strike. And it was really fun to make as well. And that's really the important thing, if you think about it. I mean, I'm doing toy photography here. It's not exactly, you know, rocket science or brain surgery. I'm just here to have a lot of fun and create things. And I've had some fun and I've created something. So job done. So I'm going to call this video complete. I'm going to call this project for now complete. And then uh, thank you very much for watching. If you like what you see here, please hit subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Cheers.